Good morning, it's Friday, April 24th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Ready. In our scriptures, 1 Peter chapter 1, where the apostle writes, So prepare your minds for action and exercise self-control. Put all your hope in the gracious salvation that will come to you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. So you must live as God's obedient children. Don't slip back into your old ways of living to satisfy your own desires. You didn't know any better then. But now you must be holy in everything you do, just as God who chose you is holy. For the scriptures say, you must be holy because I am holy. It wasn't long ago that I heard the news of the passing of my ninth grade English teacher, Joe Galizio. His students referred to him as Jumping Joe because when it came time for the annual faculty versus student basketball game, for a five foot nine guy, he could mix it up with the biggest and best of them. He also had an amazingly accurate two handed set shot. For an English nerd, he was quite the athlete. Given my love of any sport where you could catch, kick, throw, hit, or bounce a ball, I admired Mr. Galizio. I also kind of feared being around him. He made me do things like stand in front of the class to give a book report. I once pretended to be sick for a whole week because I knew my turn was coming up. In my weakened condition on the first day back, there was little mercy from behind the teacher's throne. Mr. Brownworth, welcome back. You can now give your report. He probably would have hurt less if it wasn't for that smile, silently bellowing, I've been in touch with your parents, you slacker. Get up here and squirm. <laughs> I didn't hate the book. Actually, I loved it. I just hated standing in front of people who were expecting me to talk. My way of avoiding my distaste for doing that was to avoid preparing for it, hoping the day wouldn't arrive. I think Jumping Joe knew that. What a sadist. Sixty years is a long time to arrive at the understanding that Mr. Galizio was teaching much more than English literature in 1961. He was bent on forming strong character. Jumping Joe was teaching me to be ready. He wanted my head to be in the game, prepared and focused on thinking and learning and speaking up and remembering that life isn't just a ball game which isn't a bad background for a future preacher. So, there's a definite parallel between ninth grade English lit and life as a believer. Peter's admonition to the church was to be ready, prepared for the spiritual battle of your lives. And to do that, it was, as Peter's friend and co-laborer Paul wrote, necessary to put on the armor of a Christ warrior. Let's hear from Paul in Ephesians chapter 6. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, Put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you'll be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in all your prayers for all believers everywhere. For you today. Our spiritual battles are no different than Peter's or Paul's. Every day we're faced with an enemy that would rob us of our joy, our witness, and our faith. The choices for life as a disciple of Jesus Christ are only two, faithful or not faithful. Jumping Joe Galizio would say, it's your turn. He must have been quoting Jesus. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.